Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Everybody loves a good bit of compensation, right? EA giving out something free because of a mistake that they made. Well, it's happened once again, and it's 100% going to impact the market, just probably not today. We're going to cover that, talk about that, and get involved with all of the Euro card mistakes that EA made yesterday, specifically as to why those cards are on the market and they shouldn't be. So we're going to talk about that and the leaks. Yes, it was a Monday with leaks once again for our next promo, and it's a big one. That Winter Wild Cards holiday-themed promo looks like EA is going all out for that once again, and the leaks show it. So we're going to dive into that a little bit today as well. If you're excited for it, drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Let's go over yesterday's SBCs to start off with, and it was indeed an upgrade pack Monday yesterday with the 84 times 5 being the biggest and probably most popular SBC that was released and it's popular because it is cheap and it requires a team of the week so investors in team of the week are very happy EA gives them another reason to be happy those team of the week cards have risen from below 30,000 coins now to about 37,000 coins per card and this is daily demand it's not an 83 times 10 but it's a upgrade pack SBC that a lot of people are going to be doing every single day so GG if you invested in team of the weeks even though there's a cheap team of the week player pick that is out this is an even better value SBC now that this is 20k or less and Team of the Weeks on the market are 37,000 coins. If you have those Team of the Weeks, you could probably just keep holding on to them because they're probably just going to keep going up, at least until the mid to latter part of the week, as this SBC has a lot of demand. I mean, guys, this SBC is a 45,000 coin SBC, and literally 37,000 coins of that value is the Team of the Week required inside of it. But it's actually a decent value player pick if you can get a Team of the Week for cheap because... It's so easy to do the rest of the SBC. It's, it's so easy, in fact, that people aren't even buying 82s or 83s to do it. 83s are up like just a smidge, and they're probably good to lazy sell. But 81s were like 600 coins a card. They're now 750, 82s rising up just a little bit. So this lower tier fodder will be once again really good to lazy list, as a lot of people will probably be buying it to fill out the rest of that 84 times 5 upgrade. Some of them are really bad, but the pack weight on um, a lot of these seems to be kind of decent as long as you get a walkout or two there were plenty of double walkouts yesterday when we were opening these packs so i'm going to try to hit all three every single day or if you're saving packs for team of the year i know a lot of people are going to be saving those for that way down the road promo as well now also yesterday we had the 80 plus player pick which is another wsbc i love the price here only six golds one rare it's a one of three and a lot of 82s, 83s, 84s, and above are packable from this W player pick there. I mean, great upgrade packs yesterday, to be completely honest. The menu grinds in full effect. I've completely forgotten about the crafting upgrade for Radioactive, which is probably bad. But, I mean, the other upgrade packs that are out right now just take precedent over that. So, it's crazy uh, that that's kind of happened. We also had the Abedi Pele Hero Challenge yesterday. And the UEFA women's marquee matchups. We got a decent amount of tradable supply, especially from this SBC. Check your club for Ajax players. I had a random Ajax card from my club sell for 4,000 coins. There were definitely some player prices that moved because of the UEFA MMs and the Abedi Pele challenge. As of course, people are getting that done to try to get the completionist objective done and all of that going on inside of there. So make sure you check your club specifically um, for that now let's talk about um i don't know let's let's actually go to the fc pro live cards really quick and actually before we do that we'll look at the content we write this is something we look forward to every single monday and then we kind of look back at it throughout the rest of the entire week ea's this week and ultimate team tweet is pretty busy a lot going on this week we had the euro stuff yesterday of course league one player of the month mbappe sbc coming sometime this week the punnet picks that we mentioned in yesterday's video is coming true along with more team of the group stage player sbcs air to busy player of the month and more upgrade and challenge sbcs and even more evolutions guys we're getting evolutions left right and center more of those are upcoming including one leaked evolution which look which looks pretty interesting now let's move into the fc pro live conversation because yesterday we had some very unexpected turn of events happen if any of you guys were watching the stream to get the rewards or to watch any of these players play for the potential upgrades it was probably the, I guess, least hype day of the tournament. Tex, who was obviously the fan favorite 
going into yesterday's games, Calvin Phillips and Tex, no upgrades. He only scored one point after having only one draw and losing his other games that happened yesterday. But other than that, Makengo, Ivan Caviero, and Hein, the Swedish center back that was an SBC, those are the cards getting upgrades, two upgrades at least, an inform upgrade and an alternate position and play style. And then Fabinho is only getting one inform upgrade. It was a pretty quiet day yesterday. And of course, these cards showed that. Guys, with these cards, to be completely honest with you, I don't know if I will ever buy one of these. Um, maybe, maybe in the beginning of January when these games come back, right? There are now no games on Monday since we've had games four weeks in a row. There's going to be another set of four weeks of games, but it doesn't start until this, uh, the first or second week of January. January 8th, I believe, is when the games start. Guys, I think I'm staying away from these cards. Maybe apart from just like a quick flip for just, I don't know, like Deli Ali, Kolomani, Mane, maybe some of the rare cards that could actually fluctuate in price. But these cards have just been sell into the hype and then don't buy them at least for right now because they just continue to drop off, guys. Phillips went from 140,000 coins down to 37, 35K where he is right now. Even Makengo and Ivan Caballero, when their players started winning games yesterday, they had a spike. Like Caballero went from 15K all the way to 18,000 coins, but then he went back down to 12K. Like, yeah, I'm just not touching these cards, man, because they're, especially on the lower tier, so invested in. And they end up all going to zero, basically, it seems. I mean, 36K for Calvin Phillips. What a drop off. Sell into the hype and probably don't look at these cards for like another two weeks, honestly, before the games come back for Group A circling back around. It's just crazy, these cards and how big of the price drop offs they can have. But yesterday was definitely an anticlimactic day for that. But it was a day where you were maybe able to complete watching those games and getting the rewards for it. this is the ultimate reward from the fc pro live objective i need this pack badly to have some 83s and 84s in it because that is what my club needs and we just packed a dibala i thought there was something greater coming out of there but that is just dibala i'll take the i'll take the walk out at least 86 86 dibala 85 bastoni all right some more fodder um and of course there were always some glitches and mistakes with you know ea's counting the percentages it's it's never a easy situation to get that stuff counted for but um i know that that objective is now claimable so let's get to the big news from yesterday the euro card controversy as we'll call it these cards guys are actually not supposed to be on the market there's no card design to search them up if you want to search them up you got to go like special i was searching vvd this way special vvd with the chemistry style is basic because the cards were fresh and they'd hit the market here they are right the euro 2024 cards first of all for some of the stats for these cards like vvd is 89 rated like his gold card but when you compare it to his gold card this uefa euros version is like worse because it's got less defending and physical but they gave him plus one shooting plus four passing and plus one dribbling it's just a completely different card like than his gold it's but it feels pointless and that's what i tweeted out yesterday i said why are we having another pointless vvd card that's been added like i mean i would honestly say that marata's card got the biggest boost he got plus two overall and he got a power shot plus play style and then they also changed the play style plus for usman dembele they gave him quick step when his gold card actually has rapid and uh they gave him minus one pace but plus one passing and physical these cards just seem so random but that's that's honestly what they were supposed to be guys right again ea was releasing these cards to kind of showcase the upcoming euro content that we're definitely going to have later on this year it's going to be super exciting like ea always do good stuff like path to glories main of the matches they always do really good stuff for like world cup promos as we saw last year a couple years ago with the euros uh they're going to do it again this year with the euros for sure and it's going to be great uh but the reason they drop these players is to like i guess bring hype to the fact that they have the euro license and that they can you know do all that and that they're going to be doing a lot for the euros as it is upcoming this summer but they were doing that yesterday to give out these cards and the whole point of these cards if they're not that complex right the whole point is you log into ultimate team everybody who logs into ultimate team right now until like january something will get the free pack for an untradeable uefa euros card there's only six different cards you can pack it's very easy uh and all you do is you get the pack you get the card and then you go to the milestones tab here 
and you have a corresponding objective that is out for 57 days and it's very similar to the holland beats holland gold rush right you basically just put the card in your team score at least one goal in two separate matches three four five six it works all the way to 10 and then of course you work it all the way down to 40 games and you get a lot of packs like 81 times 11s 84 times threes you get some icon loans in there you get a calvin phillips loan you get a tiago loan so you get plenty of loan cards and plenty of packs as well like an 80 times 10 for like scoring four um a goal in four separate matches some of these packs are actually worth doing it's kind of like holland if you want to do the least amount of grind possible score in 10 games you get a couple 80 times 10s and a couple other like you know player picks 83 plus and it's really easy to do and that's basically the point of all these cards guys you open the pack you do the objectives with the card and that's that these are not live they're not upgrading or anything like that but this is where EA made it more complex because they accidentally added them to packs yesterday. Yeah, these guys were not supposed to be in packs. They were not supposed to be searchable on the market. These cards were never intended to be on the market, guys. They were intended to be a free type of thing, like we just mentioned, where you get the card, then you go do the objective, and it's just one of those, kind of the thing they do every year in December, right? Last year, we had the World Cup um, History Makers cards with like that Mbappe, and there was an IU, there was a Pulisic, right? That is that same thing this year in this game, but evidently EA messed up encoding something and these cards were all of a sudden on the market. And this is the tweet that they released a couple hours after that happened. I think it was like three or four hours these cards were in packs and on the market. They said earlier today, the Euro Ambassador player items were unintentionally released in packs. This has been corrected, so they're no longer in packs, which is why some of their card prices went up a bunch because they're very rare. I mean, think about it. A card gets put in packs for three or four hours. VVD started off at 300,000 coins. He went all the way down to 150k and then exploded back to 300k because he's just really rare. And all of these cards are really rare. They had crazy price spikes. Usman Dembele was like 50k and now he's up to 140,000 coins. Yeah, 50,000 coins all the way up to 140. So if you were if you bought any of those cards when they were when it was tweeted that they were going out of packs and EA corrected the issue, you made a lot of coins. But that's kind of besides the point. Um, they're not in packs any longer, but they said that there was going to be compensation because of this. So if you packed any of these cards, which by the way, they did hide at the back of packs. Somebody packed Murata yesterday on stream in the back of a store pack. So maybe check your club and make sure that you don't have maybe two of these cards if you get the free pack and then if you packed another one. But if you packed any of these cards from regular packs yesterday in this game, not from the pack that of course they were supposed to be in, but just regular packs, EA has to give you the card that should have been in packs at that time. And that's the way that they're wording it, right? This has been corrected to the items intended rarity. But this actually is going to have some big market impact because currently in packs, Virgil van Dyke, we have his gold card, right? There's no inform. There's no special card right now that he has in packs. So if you packed this card yesterday from a random store pack or from a random pack, you are going to be compensated by getting... Virgil van Dyke's gold card. That's how I'm understanding this EA compensation message because this is the intended version that was supposed to be in packs. So instead of you packing his gold, you pack this one, which are, again, almost identical cards, but not quite the same. Now, you got really lucky if you packed Usman Dembele yesterday. Here's the biggest story of all this, and here's why. Usman Dembele's card in packs right now is actually his road to the knockouts. If you packed this 86 Usman from a random pack yesterday, when EA does this compensation, you are due the 90 rated road to the knockouts Usman Dembele, his best card on this game, 648,000 coins worth of a card. And all you had to do was pack this. It seems a little bit lucky or unfair, but that's how it goes with compensation, right? And that's how I'm reading this once again, because again, that was the card that was supposed to be in packs. This Usman Dembele was never supposed to be in packs. So it's kind of a crazy situation. Now for the rest of the cards, like if you packed um, like Morata or if you packed Chiesa or if you packed Grealish, you're just going to be technically compensated with the gold card because they had no other special cards in packs. You should just be getting the gold version, which is like, okay, sweet. I'll get a little bit of extra fodder. But that's kind of this whole situation explained in a nutshell. And what it also means is randomly at some point in the next probably two to three weeks, right? Because they say in the coming days, we always know that it means 
in the coming weeks, right? It takes them a while to get this stuff sorted out and figured out. But whenever they do this compensation, two things are going to happen. Number one is there's going to be a random crash in price on this Usman Dembele and on gold VVD because so many people packed the, those cards yesterday. I mean, there were not a ton of them on the market. Obviously, it took a lot of time. Um, those cards were in packs for a lot of time, and of course, they got supplied. And now you can see how rare, like the the Virgil Van Dyke special card is that we just looked at. Like he's a very very rare card. Like, there's not very many pages of him on the market, but he got packed by a decent amount of people because there's at least you know a couple hundred probably floating around this game because people packed him yesterday instead of his gold. That's going to be giving out a lot of gold VVDs to a lot of people which could impact gold VVD's price once again, but I really think it's going to impact the road to the knockouts, Usman Dembele, the most. And I know it's not going to impact everybody, but in two or three weeks when you see Usman Dembele, RTTK at the top of Footbin, like, wait, what in the world's going on? Then you'll know it's that compensation situation. So that was pretty weird, and I know it doesn't impact everybody, but it's in a situation that we have to be kind of aware of and know about because that was not supposed to happen. And now these cards are going to be on the market for the rest of the year, and they're going to be really, really rare and just really, really random cards. Like, in packs for four hours. These are going to be some of the weirdest cards of the entire year game cycle because they're just going to be flat out rare. And they might even be very interesting for Evos, too, for, like, Morato. Like, one of these cards could eventually spike in price because of being available to be evolved in something. I can imagine <clears throat> this card being evolvable. Yeah, he's already 60,000 coins, but... What's his max price range? 190K, you know, like that's an 85 rated card with not that high of stats that if the right Evo comes out, he's already three star, four star. Like maybe you can boost him up to a four star. Maybe with the finesse shot that he already has. Like I'm, I'm just shouting out these cards for a potential spike in price for an Evo later on down the line because it could happen, but they're on the market for the rest of the year now let's talk about the rest of the market there were some decent flips to be had yesterday on some team of the group stage cards i have started to kind of sell off some of my barellas that i bought for 291 just because i don't know how much higher he's going to go between today or tomorrow it was a good day to trade with those cards gravenberg also netted me some good profits this cancelo netted me some good profits there were some nice rises yesterday on some of these like rodrigo is approaching 520k right now he's going up a good bit uh, but yesterday after rewards, he went from 465 up to 500k. So there were some good fluctuations in these cards. But since we had supply yesterday as well through the UEFA marquee matchups, the women's side of things, you also had some cards drop. Like Bellingham went from 813 all the way down to 740, and now he's back up to almost 800,000 coins. Players like Phil Foden, on the other hand, they really didn't recover. Like he went up like 15k after rewards. Um, he was like 170, he went up to 187, and then he's been down all the way to 150K. And that's kind of where he is right now. So there definitely was some supply yesterday that hit on some of these cars, but they were still pretty good to trade with. I mean, I'm selling my Barellas as you just saw right now. I'm taking the nice, I mean, that's almost like, this is like not quite 30K of profit per card, but like 25,000 coins, 20, 25,000 coins, because I bought them at 290 per card. I'll take that for a two day hold. That is really nice. I bought a couple other flips yesterday. I bought a VVD for 540. I'm probably only going to break even on this. And I bought an Davies at 700. There was a lot of panic still on some random cards yesterday. Some of the Thunderstrucks that people were panic selling, like Diani dropped a lot. It's really just panic selling on some of these cards for Thunderstruck items uh, because they're not live anymore or they've kind of achieved all their upgrades. Diani has bounced back. She was 900K, under 900. She's now 975. Frimpong went from like 600,000 coins and now um, he was like 550. I don't know where he is right now. Okay, still 570. So he didn't bounce back that well. Gerd Muller was another one that was down. Um, so just be careful with those live cards because once again, we talk about it a lot, but when a live card is no longer live or it's nearing the end of its like live and upgrading time, they definitely do drop off a lot. But some of the rest of the market actually continue to just drop off slowly as well. I mean, we've talked about this some, but really guys, in the last two weeks in this game, like look at gold Vinny Jr. from 650,000 coins post Black Friday last week on Friday, 650K. He is 425,000 coins. Like we have been in a slow decline almost every single day for the past couple of weeks. And this is happening a lot 
on gold cards specifically like obviously taking a look at Vinny um, I want to take a look at um, Puteas for a second I can't find her card I'm gonna search her up really quick Puteas is another one who I think she was like 400,000 coins on that same Friday 438 and now she's down to 328,000 coins and a lot of you guys have been asking me like Nate are these cards gonna continue to drop as we head into winter wild cards into this kind of festive promo period and honestly the answer for me is yes i mean all the content that we have right now it's very coin draining with team of the weeks again being thirty-seven thousand coins per card i do imagine that some of this market middle to top tier especially is going to continue to get corrected as prices come down people gravitate towards new maybe untradeable sbcs and promo cards that they're able to acquire and less people are buying these sorts of players now some of their prices will probably bounce back like later on in december like usually with new people coming onto the game that get the game for christmas there's a new wave of players there's fresh demand for some of these types of cards they will have some bounce backs in early january maybe right before team of the year that happens especially on the little tier we're going to get ready for that this year and especially like next week we'll be looking at some of that stuff for you guys but i think that prices can still be dropping on these players throughout the rest of the week middle tier to top tier you guys a lot of people asking about ginola like Ginola has dropped from above two mil to be like one point, isn't it like one point eight or one point seven mil? I think I saw yesterday. Oh, he's under one seven now. He's one point six nine. Like this is a card that I would expect to keep dropping still in the next a week or two, just because that's kind of where we are at this stage of the year. And what is not going to help some of that part of the market is the leaks that we started getting yesterday as well. Now we're gonna do a full in-depth video on all the winter wild cards goodness because this is a big promo with a lot of history the past couple of years in this game. And there's a lot of hype for it, but we had the first couple of weeks and I do wanna talk about them and cover them because it's just good to see and good to know where EA might be headed with this already, right? Grimaldo was the first card that we had leaked yesterday. He's posted here as a center mid. I don't know if that's an official thing or not, but Winter Wild Cards has been a promo with some random position changes in years past. Again, we'll dive into that more later. That was our first leak, but this is where it got good, okay? Cristiano Ronaldo leaked to come in the Winter Wild Card promo. EA is chasing the bag, right? But who wouldn't who wouldn't like another promo Ronaldo, right? I mean, the Trailblazers we had is the last one. Could this be like a right wing Ronaldo with more pace? I don't know. We're speculating on that. But he is going to have a card definitely in packs, not an SBC during the Winter Wild Cards promo. But there's also some other big names. VVD. Yeah, this is going to be the most expensive version of VVD. He's going to have, of course, another version on the market. It's going to be 80 pace probably i like this prediction here unless they change him to like striker or something and on our way back using a vvd at striker recently for all the headers right this is a card that would probably be a top center back in the game like a super meta version winter wild cards vvd with 80 pace he'd be absolutely unbelievable right before team of the year that's a big name leak there he's not the only big time center back that's been leaked as well as we scroll up through some of the leaks we have Enzo Fernandez, who is leaked to come to this promo as well. That's a pretty big one. Hasn't got a promo card since he had like the very beginning of the year, the Nike item. Some people have evolved his card as well. But we have Enzo, and then we also have Militao. So as you can see, big name players, cards that like Militao hasn't had a promo this year. This is going to be his first one. I would even say that, to be completely honest, I really don't think that VVD's promo cards have really counted. Like Nike item, same stats as his gold. This Euro one. You know what it is it is what it is it's worse than the gold right you've had this um team of the week for vvd as well that's a big card for him though to be in this next promo ea go all out for winter wild cards guys so those are the leaks that we have for right now there's a couple other of like bonus champs rewards and other objectives that have been leaked as well we'll dive into those more as we get closer but the one other thing i want to look at is um something that's probably going to be coming it could be today but it also could be on a Wednesday with a brand new team of the week. We have another Evo leak. And of course, EA mentioned we were going to get more Evos this week in Ultimate Team, right? Foot Police says a team of the week evolution is added to come. Which players would you like to upgrade? It seems very broad. You think about a team of the week evolution. That is a specific card type that you can Evo. Like... I'm sure it's not going to be, oh, evolve your Inform Salah or Inform Sun or Inform VVD. It's going to be probably like lower rated, like max 
83 or 4 or 5 rated or something like that. A lot of people have been looking at the Lookman card that's been recently added to Team of the Week as maybe a potential Evo card. It's tough to know, guys. Like, it's tough to say, hey, go invest in this Inform because you're going to be able to upgrade this Inform and make them a cracked card. We don't know. We have zero idea, to be 100% honest. But I think that would be an Evo that could be today as a part of Tuesday content or maybe even better fit on Wednesday as we would get a new Team of the Week released. That would go hand in hand there. So what, I wanted to point that out as well. That was one of the biggest leaks that was dropped yesterday. Now, what else could we have today, right? Last week, we had a lot of upgrade packs. EA seemed to be wanting to go that same direction this week as well. The 85 plus player pick is an SBC that's been out since um, the Ultimate Dynasties promo. But it should be, it's going away today. It expires in 13 hours, as you can see from right now. I think it could come back today. I think we could get another upgrade pack SBC. We're going to obviously get another challenge SBC following in line with the completionist objective that we all have to be doing, which I have not been doing. Uh, but to get those um, that objective completed. And then, guys, we're basically guaranteed a player SBC every single day this week through the rest of the week, whether it be a player of the month, like an Eredivisie or League One Mbappe, or punted picks today, or a team of the group stage player via Europa League or the Champions League, as it shows here with the two card designs. Player SBC today, maybe another upgrade pack, and uh, I guess maybe an evolution as well. But like, if I had to guess, like a lot of you guys might be wondering, when is Mbappe player of the month going to be? Last time he was dropped on a Wednesday. The 92 was dropped on a Wednesday. I feel like um, since that SBC still has a decent amount of days left, I don't know if they're going to drop it today on a Tuesday, which has been a day for League One Player of the Month in the past. Really feels like it could be Wednesday or Thursday. I would look to those two dates as this Mbappe has three days left. Wednesday or Thursday, potentially, for the new and improved. I guess we'll see what they rate it at, what they price it at. The next Player of the Month Mbappe dropping onto this game and maybe we get insanely lucky once again with ea allowing us to turn in the 92 i doubt it my hopes are very small for that but we'll keep that situation at the forefront of our minds as we head to a day today on tuesday which is probably just going to be 84 times five so once again grind the upgrade packs and grind the gameplay because there is a lot of gameplay to grind right now for a lot of packs tons of objectives again the daily login stuff the easter egg nation oh i almost forgot to say this is Japan. Japan is the Easter Egg Nation. If you want to go ahead and get yourself a coin boost and an 83 plus player pack, it's worth it to score a couple of finesse goals with a J Japanese player and you are good to go. The Champions Pro objective goes away today as well. Maybe they would add something in there, but also I would not be surprised if something along these lines would not get added back in until after the season reset. Once again, Make sure if you're going for the XP, get all your weekly objectives done, uh, get the gameplay done as well, and um, get the daily daily play games. That's actually really nice, uh, the daily play boost for XP. So last couple days of the season as well. But that's going to be the video for today, guys. If you did enjoy, if you did enjoy, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in a stream today. Link is down below in the description if you want to check us out there on Twitch. I will see you guys in the stream today. Peace. Out.